Oh my gosh, y'all. So this <laughs> Yes, I cussed. I can't believe it. But it's getting real. It's getting real. I can't believe it. I've learned so much and got some tremendous feedback and it's just going to get better and better. And I just loved hearing everybody's stuff. But, you know, let let me get started. Just let me get started um, before I forget what this talk is going to be about. Today's video is about the speaker circle, my TEDx talk feedback. <laughs> this you're looking at this the next day i'm looking at my clock it is tuesday but you're gonna see this on wednesday so it is the 17th and well uh i officially gave my tedx talk reading not from memory but i gave it to my group of people my cohort in a zoom call so i did a cold reading of it and so what we had to do was we had to submit what we had mine isn't completely finished yet a lot of ours aren't completely finished yet and that's okay just so we can follow along and give comments we all sat down with our coaches and, and our facilitators and we gave the feedback where we all met on a zoom call again this is not physical face to face i was extremely nervous i've done this so many times and in fact as i got up today i did see some pre-notes from my coach <laughs> on my document and i just changed those really quickly you know the power of technology the power of a google doc you can change it instantly like that i went last to read and i think that is something that has always been instilled in me is to go last and for those people out there who know me from the high school days we all know how important it is to perform last because that's who they re they remember you more for if that makes sense those who have been with me in my high school days know what i'm talking about i really wanted to listen to everybody's stories and i just wanted to go last because i felt like i wasn't i was going to get more of the feedback i am not an expert in any way shape or form with what anybody's talking about but i felt a connection with everybody in that space we all gave each other feedback the powerful thing about putting this in the technology spaces we are able to read their documents their rough draft documents and just give comments you know on the fly and give that feedback now I will say for me, again, I'm one of those type of people who it's very hard for me to take notes and listen at the same time. I, I still struggle with that. So I'm going to use the tools that are around me. So <laughs> what I did as I was reading my TED talk was I just turned on my OBS, open broadcasting software, and I read while it was on Zoom. And uh, no, that part of it is not gonna be shared with everybody. You may see little B-roll clips or whatever, but that part, you're not gonna, that stuff is private between myself and, and the cohort. I really wanted to go back and hear myself as I am talking this out with another set of group of people because i've been doing this alone by myself and with my coach and it's very different when you're presenting it to a different group, a set of people and facilitator i had my obs on just so i know i could get those notes because i know bradford knows that i won't be able to write everything down so fast that i'll i'll totally forget and i'm going to get to that in just a moment and I hope that, that people who were in my cohort as they were giving me the feedback that if my facial expression seemed kind of weird, it, it wasn't like, oh God, he's not, he's, he's taking it wrong or whatever. Like, no, no. It's like, I think how my daughter interprets the things. We get this like blank stare, like, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it's just me processing and internalizing what people are saying and really putting in 
the back of my mind the notes and that's why i really didn't even write anything down because i knew i had the video in the background so i could go back and review how i delivered it how i was saying certain things and what i could do with that later the feedback was just very awesome and really looking at this is about you and your experience and what the call of action is that you want the audience to leave with and keeping it simple and those of y'all who know me i can keep it wordy you know i can i can go off on a tangent even on paper but it was great to hear from other different perspectives to where okay Bradford, you need to narrow it down here take me take me home somewhere where where are we going with this what did i do with that feedback literally like when we got off the call I'm like all right you know i know me i'm not gonna jump back into this like the next day of course it needs to be done but i'm a procrastinator i'm i'm going to admit that and if i don't do this now yeah it's not gonna get done so again thank god for the tech spaces what I did was I took the video and I used my Adobe, my Adobe Premiere and I took what was only about me and I listened to it and there's a feature in Adobe where you can get the transcription. So it has me talking and it has the feedback talking. Okay, so now I have a transcript of what I said and then I have a transcript of the feedback of what people are saying. That speaks so much volumes, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you know you make your tech work for you. So now I have my my script or my paper and then the feedback. And then I took it a step forward and I have the, the Google AI Studio. I actually specifically have certain sections in here where I am able to give that feedback. So again, if I don't have access to my cohort members or my my coach, I can at least upload my document that I have personally written and see what that document thinks. But now I took it a step further and go, here is literally the verbal feedback transcript that people suggested. What do you think? Compare this document that I've just now written. I haven't made any changes yet to the feedback. And literally, figuratively, it helped me to align the structure of my document. And I did see somebody peek into to the document again today. So I don't know who that was, but it really aligned with what everything was saying. Like, yep your document says this it aligns with exactly what they're saying you need to do this 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 in order to make it about what they're talking about and it's really going to make sense here tighten it up here say what you're going to say starting right here and i'll go i see how this i see how all of this is connecting it made my process work a lot faster did it give me like the answer to say, tell you need to say this? Yeah, it did, but I put my own spin on it. But it made those ideas flow a lot faster to where I'm ready to, I've already revised what I need to revise and I can move on to that next step. One of the biggest feedbacks that I got was, we need to know about you. And that really stuck after I got on the call. And after that call ended, that really struck a chord with, with me. It's like, we, this is basically your time to shine. This is your time on the stage to tell your story. And for that 12 minutes, you're the expert. You know this stuff. We don't. We need to hear your background. Why are you speaking on what you're speaking of? And it was a, such a very powerful statement. Truth be told, only a few people really know what I do and what I'm capable of and what my powers are and all that kind of stuff. But if I'm going to express this idea or this concept, I have to give a tiny little bit of background about why I am knowledgeable on this concept and what I'm knowledgeable about what the call of action is going to be. I sat with that and it really struck because nobody has really said that to me. They need to know who you are. Yes, they see the accolades, they see the awards, but 
What makes you that subject matter expert? That is something that has always stuck with me for the past year, year and a half. The awards and the accolades are great, but really who are you to get those awards, to do all of these things, to talk about these things? Tell us your backstory. And I think that's where I've been, uh, that's where I stand right now is I'm talking about the skill sets. I'm talking about what it means to amplify your voice and all that kind of stuff and diversity and all those, and all those things. Don't be afraid to say, this is who I am. I know about this space because I've been in this space. Never be ashamed to tell people who you are. Who are you and why do you know this stuff? And why you're not just spitting out information to be spitting out information. Why are you in these spaces? Why are you giving this TED Talk? Plain and simple. That is what stuck with me at the end of the call because as I looked at the document, yes, I am telling the story, but I never really thought about saying, well, this part of me is about this XYZ. I'm trying not to give it all away. Sometimes on a TED Talk, you know, you are revealing about yourself. And for me, this is my time to let people who are not in my inner or outer circle, even those people who are in my outer circle still know a little bit about me, but people who really don't know about me, well, now you know, and this is why I speak on what I speak on. The feedback was very genuine. I took everything in stride and really internalized it. And again, if it wasn't for me do, taking that transcribed notes and looking at that and just connecting all of it together with my with all of my tech tools, I don't know what I would have done. Everybody else's TED Talk was so impactful. I connected with each and every one. You all are going to hear some amazing talks. I really can't wait for you to hear what these people are talking about. There's still work that needs to be done. I still need to do as I'm looking at it and scrolling through it now. I took a lot of other people's ideas that were mentioned in their uh, talks and I definitely would like to apply it to mine. Of course, with not copying it, with this feedback today, I was so motivated going, okay, I need to switch this real quick. How am I gonna do this so I can move forward? There's going to be another a small talk soon, but I just want to give you all what's happening now with the, the next steps, the insights and the feedback, because this went beyond just me and a coach. This is me, a coach. Other people uh, like me who are giving their talk for the first time, looking at documents, looking at other coaches, looking at the facilitators. So now this is where we have an audience and we're really listening and getting that particular feedback that is truly needed. So um, can't wait to talk about my next journey and um, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. See you later.